Hey, what's up everyone? Simpsons Man here, and today we have another unboxing video from Super 7. We've been waiting for these for quite some time. I think maybe like a year or two, and we have Wave 3 and we have Wave 4. So we're going to do both waves in the same video, so stay tuned. Let's open them up. done wave one we've already done wave two we've done a bunch of the reaction ones but we were waiting and waiting and waiting for wave three and wave four to finally arrive oddly enough wave four got here first so i wanted to wait just a few days because i knew wave three was literally just right behind that one we got wave three and as you can tell the size difference of these boxes are crazy and i know it's because kang and kodo so we're gonna just kind of stick with the order and go ahead and open up wave three first so i'm gonna go ahead and just i guess i'm gonna just move this one on the floor down here and i haven't opened this up or anything yet i'm kind of scared almost i've seen a lot of horror stories of people online saying they sent me the wrong ones or these are damaged or you know just it's kind of whatever. I mean, everyone, it just really depends, I guess, maybe on how the shipping was and everything. But as you can see, this is going to be my live take of Super 7 Ultimates Wave 3. We'll do Wave 4 right afterwards. And then I'm going to do a bunch of individual videos of opening them up, you know, individually like I always do. But right now we're just doing kind of like an unveiling so if you haven't been following around, um, you know, they, you know, if you haven't seen the posts, uh, the videos, everything else, then this might be news to you. But you can see how big this box is. Like, this box is insane. Oh, and also, I want to thank you for the company Thrill House for hooking me up with this awesome t-shirt. So I'll put their information below. So if you want to ever grab one, go get one. So we are going to, oh my God. When I say massive, I mean massive. I'm going to have to, oh my god, this box is, I feel like it's almost double the size of the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and get both, or, what, am I even going to have room for this? Man, I need to, I almost need to, I think I might need to push the camera back a little bit because, man, you can see the differences of these boxes. And the thing is, I'm not sure where I'm going to put this box at. I don't want to keep it on the table. I don't even know if I have enough room beside me here. Here, let me actually kick it underneath the table. There we go, okay, perfect. So, as you can tell right off the bat, this Kang and Kodos is absolutely insanely huge. Look at this. And I wanna make sure we got both. Okay, so we got two different ones. So, you can see Kang and Kodos right beside, right there, and you can see these two little baby ones, which the Super 7 ones, as you all know, are are big you know for themselves but we're gonna go ahead and put kang and kodos off to the corner let's go ahead and unveil the mr burns and ralph and one thing that i did hear here i'm gonna get i don't care about this plastic uh one thing that i did here on way four and i'm not sure yet until i open it up is they did away with the slip covers unfortunately i'm not sure why uh, maybe they're just trying to rush them out because as you all know, uh, sadly, Super 7 is not doing Simpsons anymore, but the slip covers being this part right here. And I want to go ahead and give you the first look at Ralph Wiggum. The very first episode he appeared on was the first episode of The Simpsons, The Simpsons Roasting on an Open Fire. And let me just make sure we have everything here. Wow. So we have... There's a bunch of different figures here, a bunch of different accessories here. Uh, we have the Ralph. So this one really comes with two heads. So usually, I want to say every single one I have received so far. Let me think. Maybe, I don't, I'm not sure about Deep Space Homer, but I think every single one so far that we've received has had three heads. Except for possibly just one. I'm not sure. It does look like Ralph's leg is kind of in a weird position. But, I, I mean, they move around so much, so I'm not really worried about that. Uh, he's got the hands with the paste, which I'll probably do that. He's got the banana. If you remember from the episode where he's on the school bus and he throws the banana saying, Go banana! Go apple! Go orange! Go banana! But we're not going to do that one. Um, 
Ralph's head looks hilarious. He's got, you know, he, he has his hair and everything. He's got an ice cream cone head also. And let's see. Oh, like, you know what? I never showed you even the back. Let me show you the back. He's got a sign that puts around him that says, do not hug. He also has the Choo Choo Choose You Valentine's Day card, which is awesome. And it has the cat computer, which we have... Uh, well, World of Springfield, is that it? Nope, that's not it. World of Springfield made that exact same one, the cat computer, so that's pretty funny. So we do have Ralph Wiggum, and I'm just going to put it next to this monstrosity of a box. Like, this thing, this Kangen Kodos feels like it's double the size of any of the other ones, but we're going to go ahead and move along here. I, I don't even know where to put this plastic. I'm just going to put it on the ground. Um, do I want to cover this up? No, we'll just kind of put this on the ground too for now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open up Mr. Burns. So next will be Mr. Burns or C. Montgomery Burns. He's got the little back. Of course he's holding money because, you know, can't think of Mr. Burns without money. And then we do have the reveal coming up for you guys first. And there we have right there. And also, the very first episode he was on was the very first episode the Simpsons roasting on open fire December 17th 1989 so as you can see on this one he does he does have three heads uh, like the, you know they usually do um, he's got a bunch of different hands it looks like he has six hands including the two that he has uh, he has the Bobo the bear which I'm definitely going to I don't know if it's gonna be able to be held in his hand probably will be um, it does have the blinky fish what I which I love I actually have a plate right up there. Maybe I'll kind of show you uh, while I'm editing the video of the scene where he's actually eating the Blinky Fish. Uh, he does have a magazine of Burns Weekly, and of course he has the one trillion dollar bill. If you remember the episode, maybe I'll kind of share a clip with that as well. Is that the trillion dollar bill in his hand? <laughs> that would be pretty careless of me, wouldn't it? Um, they have three different heads. So one, he Kind of looks like he's either reminiscing, he's got his eyes closed, or maybe he's, um, you know, sleeping. Uh, he's got another one that's just like the normal look, and then the, the other look is him, I guess, kind of yelling. So I'll kind of show you all right here. The yelling look, the normal look, and I guess maybe the sleepy or reminiscing look. I'm not sure what the other one is. And honestly, I feel like I would probably just keep the regular look for Mr. Birds. The Ralph one, I don't know, maybe... I don't know. I, I'm going to have to kind of see. I might I might just keep it the regular Ralph hair. What I'm kind of afraid of is his hair looks kind of fragile that I feel like if you press down on him or something, they might break, but we'll see. But, you know, no one no one came for Burns or Ralph. Ralph, I mean, I'm not a big fan. I mean, I can't say I'm not a big fan of Mr. Burns, but I didn't really care, you know, if they did make or they didn't make a Mr. Burns uh, figure. Or Ralph, definitely. You know, Ralph is definitely a good one, but... I think we all came to see the insanely massive Kangen Kodos, and I'm still trying to figure out where I'm going to put these in my room. Like, I, I've i kind of thought a few ideas, but to be honest, and sadly, I'm going to have to move some of this stuff around and take some stuff down um, because, you know, I need to be able to fit them in. And I don't even know, I have a Kangen Kodos wall over there, but there's no way in heck that these, these are going to fit on there. So we're going to take off the plastic off of both of these and to be honest i'm more excited for the next videos to come like the ones that are gonna be coming next week of me actually opening these up and playing around with them because i really want to mess around with the kang and kodos one um you know just put the different heads on there and everything else but so here we go so i'm not sure ever who is who uh just oh you know what it probably says it on the front yep so this one's kang so we have kang i'll show you the back artwork this thing is so heavy it's insane and for the reveal of Kang, I'm not even sure what that first episode he was on, but I'm going to have to put this on. Can I even do this with one hand? I can't. I'm going to have to do this with two hands. Go ahead and take this on. So he was on the first Treehouse of Horror back in Season 2, Episode 3, October the 25th, 1990. And as you can see, and I haven't even looked at this yet. I'm going to turn it around in a second. This thing is absolutely massive. So I'm going to look at it right now. And yes, this thing is just absolutely massive. It does not come with any accessory. Oh, wait, hold on. There is something in the back there. Can't really see. Oh, okay. So all the accessories look like they're in the back. There is a weird, like, big piece of plastic right here 
which I'm kind of, I don't know about concerned about. It looks like it's got a little cutout thing too, so I'm hoping there isn't an accessory that's missing. Um, I really wish they would label to see, you know, like what accessories are included, but from the looks of it, and I'm trying my hardest to look here, um, it's got two different heads. We already saw that, so I can show you. Oh man, we got the two different heads. Uh, we have the Maggie accessory. Uh, looks like we have different hands with a fork and knife. Uh, we have one with a ray gun. And I'm assuming the other one says Earth Capital because remember on the episode they're holding a sign that says Earth Capital because they want to hitchhike. So I think that is all the accessories for this. But man, like compared to Ralph, I feel like he's probably seven times the size of Ralph. Um, like I said, I can't wait to do an opening on these because I really want to like compare these to like the Burger King ones I have, the Kid Robot ones I have, uh, the Funko ones I have. I'm very sad that Super 7 is not doing Simpsons anymore. I'm not sure the story behind it. I mean, there's been podcasts about it, but you know, they can only say so much, but you know, this is going to be it for Super 7 for now. Like, we have Wave 3, uh, we have Wave 4 next that we're going to do. Uh, but besides that, that's it. Like, it's over. Like, they said they would love to do some stuff in the, in the future because they have a bunch more items, but nobody is doing this at all. Like, no one is making these type of toys at all. We have Jack Specific coming out, but those aren't going to be nowhere near the scale as this Kang and Kodos. Kang and Kodos is probably going to be... Uh, hands down my favorite ones out of all four waves like I already know out of seeing seeing all of them um, But yeah, just because of how huge they are and we do have Kodos right here. So Kodos uh, we have the the book uh, How to cook for 40 humans. I'm pretty sure that's what it says. Let me double check real quick how to cook for 40 humans Yep, and then we'll do the Kodos reveal right now Man, this thing is huge and of course you know he appears on the same episode as his sister not brother as we learned on one of the episodes that these Kang and Kodos are actually sisters which I didn't know that until I saw that on the episode and here we go so you know we got the two heads the one that's on and the other one and then got a couple accessories I'm assuming the book's gonna be an accessory but I haven't seen this yet so let me turn it around so I can check it out so there is one hand that it looks like he has a dish, so the dish of food. Um, we do have a, uh, I can't, maybe it's like a salt and pepper shaker. The book, it looks like there's back there as well. Can't really see much. We do have the tentacles, of course. Looks like there's a, no, there's not an extra one, but yeah. And one cool thing um, that I'll have to show you once I actually um, open these up is the eyeballs, they move. Like they're, you know, they move side to side. So they're not just, the eyes not just standing straight. It's moving side to side. These, hands down, are the coolest, like, well, I'd say some, but probably one of my top five coolest toys I have in, in literally my whole collection. Because these things are massive. And I'm still trying to figure out where I'm gonna place these. I do have like a like a themed area of like itchies and scratchies and Kangs and Kodos. So what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna set up like a Kang and Kodos section. But as you know, this is a Simpsons closet and I don't have any room for them. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to move some of these items probably out of here just so I can display these bad boys and then obviously the rest of what well, you know what I have. So that's going to be it for this one. This is going to be wave three. Uh, it's going to be a short video. Uh, we done the unboxing and then stay tuned because, you know, we're going to be doing wave four next and then stay tuned after that again because I'm going to be doing actual unboxings of both of these. Uh, we got um, uh, Montgomery Burns and we have Ralph. So I'm going to be doing actual unboxings, taking them out. Uh, we have four different figures on here. We got four different figures on there. We got one opening video here. We got one opening video there. So we have 10 new videos dropping on the YouTube channel um, all within the next few weeks. I'm just going to be dropping them left and right. I just have to, it have, takes time to edit them, unfortunately. So, and uploading and make sure they're uploaded in like 4K and everything. So once all that gets processed out, I'm just going to start knocking these out. And that is going to be it for Wave three of the Super 7 Ultimates line. Once again, Throw House, thank you so much for the for the awesome t-shirt. They do all sorts of different Simpsons collab type t-shirts. Um, so definitely check them out. If you haven't already, I would probably recommend getting yourself some Super 7 items. I do have a link down there from Entertainment Earth. They are still selling them right now. And if you use that link below, I think you're gonna save at least 10%. So do yourself a favor, go grab these. 
And that's it. Thank you so much for checking out another one of my YouTube videos. And as always, if you did like the video, please like the button. There's a thumbs up, like down there. Please like it. And also, if you're new here, I think most of the people that watch these videos are not subscribed. So definitely, if you're here because you like Simpsons or Simpsons News, Simpsons Toys, Reviews, any kind of Simpsons content, I would definitely appreciate a subscribe. So till next time, thank you so much for checking out yet another one of these Super 7 ultimate videos and see ya.